Good morning, I'm Mark. And today we are going to Santo Domingo. We'll show some unique places in Santo Domingo. And of course, we'll share some interesting information so that you can enjoy and discover something new and very attractive, very new, unique. Watch this video to the end. In the end of this video, you are going to have a surprise. So we are driving on the left side, there will be Casa de Campo, the biggest and the most luxury residence in the Dominican Republic. Probably Capcana or something else, they can compete, but that's the oldest and biggest and the best. In the airport, La Romana International Airport, it has more private jets in all Caribbean islands probably uh, than anybody else. So like, um, there are a lot of private jets. There are like small airport for private jets exclusively. So in the Casa de Campo is one of the richest, um, the best, probably one of the best uh, areas in the Dominican Republic and the whole Caribbean. Uh, we have a lot of uh, movie stars, sports stars there and uh, people are spending really good time there. Uh, probably if you know who is like Vin Diesel, this guy spends a lot of time in Casa de Campo and there are a lot of um, sports stars, movie stars, singers and other celebrities living there. There are three tolls when you drive into Santo Domingo. So like first you pay 100 pesos, another one you pay 60 and the last one you pay also 100. That's very important to have cash. You cannot pay with credit or debit card. So make sure if you drive into Santo Domingo, you have cash, all right? And if you have like 2,000 um, peso, the, the, the bill of 2,000 peso, they can reject it. So like make sure you have the cash with you and you can pay cash in the way on the way back from Santo Domingo there is like one more toll it's gonna be 60 pesos when you drive it out of the Santo Domingo So what you can see on the way to Santo Domingo, first of all, uh, on the right side, when you drive in from Pablo Punta Cana, you will see Cueva de las Maravillas. 
So basically it's caves, uh, but it's very nice to visit them and discover it. And it's not expensive. It's around, uh, the visit around 10, 15 dollars. So you can have some great experience. Another thing, it's right in Santo Domingo, Los Tres Ojos. So it's basically like three big lakes. And I definitely recommend you to visit uh, this activity. Below this video, you will find the description in the link to this specific activity. I would definitely recommend you to watch it and to have this lovely experience. All right. special service on you know like on roads it's called MOPS there is the special armed police and they are checking and tracking everything what's going on on the highway so let's say if you have a flat tire or something else they're gonna come and help you with everything I love this specific service and it was very smart by the Dominican government to establish this special service those guys are very friendly, very nice, and they're gonna help you free of charge. Just if you give some something back, it would be really nice because they are um, under the sun all the time and they provide a help to a lot of people. They are very nice, that's a great service and that was a very smart decision to settle this kind of service. private residences uh, when you're driving from Santo Domingo it's Metro Country Club and in addition to it I like one very specific residence uh, it's called Wawa Berry I like it a lot it's very private very nice Metro Country Club reminds me Punta Cana village uh, some uh, villas and some apartments inside of the gated community uh, so with some golf areas, uh, but I like Guava Berry much more, even though country, uh, Metro Country Club is very nice residence uh, also. So I strongly recommend you to visit those residents if you are um, driving nearby and if you have any chance, if you have friends over there, so you can visit them.
do something in Santo Domingo, it's crazy because it's a traffic jams. So you can do maximum two things, drive to two places per day. And it's crazy, very, very busy. So we are in Santo Domingo try, trying to fix the AC system in uh, our car. It's Toyota Sequoia, uh, yet it's not then that easy to do that. And uh, I would love also to install the new audio system uh, so I can control my music better. Santo Domingo reminds me New York, Los Angeles or San Francisco in terms of traffic. It's crazy sometimes. It's packed and it's just very, very busy. So like if you go into Santo Domingo, make sure you're driving before 8 a.m. or after 8 p.m. So because it's very busy. So and a lot of traffic jams. Mm -hmm. 